EPA certified non-catalytic stoves create their efficiency with a heavily insulated firebox. This insulation keeps the heat in, creating a hot environment that encourages more complete combustion. Using a secondary combustion area to ignite and burn more gases and soot particles. To build a fire in a cold, non-catalytic stove, open the firebox and place 5 to 10 balls of wadded newspaper on the bottom of the firebox and cover that with 15 to 20 pieces of kindling. Now open the air controls fully and keep them open for a minimum of 15 minutes. This allows the cold air to enter through the front of the stove and enables the fire to burn quickly. The air controls may be located in various places depending on the make of the stove. Light the paper in kindling and once it is burning strongly, add two to three logs that are three to four inches wide on the top of the kindling, stacking them to allow air to flow in between. Once this wood is burning strongly, close the primary air control and add more logs, larger logs for a longer, slower fire and smaller logs for a quick, hot fire. As you become more familiar with your stove, you'll learn how the air controls can help you control the temperature and burn time of your stove. Generally, you would want the fire to burn slower and longer for sustained heat. This causes yellow, gas-like flames above the logs, rather than flames rising directly from the wood. These yellow flames indicate that the secondary air tubes within the stove have been lit. When you see that the tubes have been lit, you'll know that your stove is burning most efficiently and that there is no smoke coming from your chimney. Some brands of non-catalytic stoves have a separate reactor chamber in the rear of the stove and will not have tubes on the top of the firebox. Check the owner's manual for clarification. Once you have built this initial hot fire and as long as the coals are still hot, you won't have to repeat the kindling process to build a new fire. This is called a hot start. To reload the stove at this hot coal stage, open the air controls to liven up the coal bed and carefully rake the burning charcoal in a pile near the front of the firebox. Load the larger pieces of cold wood in the back of the firebox so the incoming air from the primary air control will feed the coals in the front which will ignite the fire effectively. When the wood has caught well, adjust the air control to your temperature needs. A non-catalytic stove will also handle certain brands of non-wax pressed wood logs, but they are very dense fuel and you must follow their guidelines so you are loading the stove with the correct amount. Please read the owner's manual carefully for further information on temperature control and stove operation, and you will be able to make your stove a cost-effective, efficient home heat source.